Hi! It's Elsa and Maddie. Hi! We are going to do a file folding showdown for you. Mm -hmm. um, we both have, so we work together on a lot of projects and there's always Maddie's way of doing file folding and my way, um, which we explain to all of our clients. And so we thought we would show you the differences. There are benefits to both. Um, my way, because I'm a mom with three boys and a husband living in this house, is the fastest way to get the job done without feeling like it's taking you an hour to fold laundry. Not that it takes Maddie an hour to do her method, well, but um, her method is definitely more detail oriented, mm -hmm. much better for people who want things to be just so and like in a very aesthetically pleasing way. So we'll walk you through how we both do this mm -hmm. and then you can go with the method that works best for you. Totally. So I like to do things that are like, I'm not super precious about it. I just grab the t-shirt, holding it by like one hand on either side of the neckline so that when you tuck it in, it kind of creates this longer rectangle space. Mm -hmm. And then I just fold it in half. So, so far we have like just a nor, this is like how my husband would fold it just to put in his drawer. But then I just cut it in half again. And so it's making a smaller rectangle shaped thing that we can start stacking into our drawers this way. So we'll show mm -hmm. you again, just grabbing the t-shirt, like, yay, our laundry's done, I'm in a hurry. I'm just gonna hold it at the neckline, make a longer rectangle, fold it over, and then pick it up and fold it in half again. And so you can see as we start to do this more and more, they're gonna stack this way in your drawer so that you can see everything that you have instead of when they're piled up this way and you can only see what's on top. Mm -hmm. You can see, however, that like my method is not perfect. There'll be like a little flap that hangs out maybe, or maybe they're not like exactly the right size and they're kind of off by a centimeter here or there. Um, I personally don't care because we're just doing laundry all the time and for me it's more important to get it done and put away in a way that's functional for everyone than it is for us to have it be perfect. Um, Cause let's be real, my family's not going to maintain this as well as I would want them to anyway. So it is all about progress and not perfection in this crazy household. Right. But Maddie's way is gorgeous. Yes. And so, it's always what we do for photographs. <laughs> exactly. Um, and so I am a girl who lives with her boyfriend. So I'm just, just the two of us and I kind of do, he does the laundry and I do the folding. So that's why it's maintained in our house, because I do it all. <laughs> um, so yeah, my method is kind of the same. So I'm holding a t-shirt from both sides of the neckline, and I just make a long rectangle. And then I would like fuss with it to make it be like a nice rectangle and smooth it out. And then I'll fold it in sections. Sometimes if it's like my shirts and they're a little bit smaller, I would do it in thirds. But for a man's shirt, I would usually do it in fourths. So I'm folding in, in, here's another one. And then I pop it together like a little sandwich. And so you can see it stays up on its own so very well. Mine don't stand up on their own, you guys. They're too skinny. Oh, um, oh. almost. It almost stood up on its own. But um, in a drawer, they're going to be all yeah, stacked anyway. So you're going to have tension holding them together. But hers are these like gorgeous little packages little packages so i'm just doing another one so you can see it again and i'm really fast at this because i do it all the time I'm but so yeah it definitely takes a little bit more preciousness you can see me doing maddie's method it definitely takes me longer and i'm not known for being the most patient person sometimes. yeah if we were on a job and we had a time crunch your method yeah Okay, wait, and then I'm gonna go like this. Mm -hmm. And then one more, and then more. Pull that one down. I'm already, like, I'm not even capable of doing, like, mine still came out wrinkled. But it does stand up on its own. It is, it's like a little, so a little t shirt girl. Yay! Uh, so you can decide for yourself this method if you're very detail oriented, mm -hmm. you have the time, you want everything to be perfect. Or also, this works really well if you don't quite have enough t-shirts in a drawer and you need them to stand up right, this method is totally for you. Mm -hmm. If you have a t-shirt hoarding husband like I do, 
um, then you definitely are optimizing space and then this method um, is not only saving you time but also you're just going to be squishing t-shirts in there so the tension will hold them together and upright. Mm -hmm. Either way. Okay, so here is a drawer filled with all of Chad's t-shirts. Uh, this is the non-file folded kind of probably traditional way that people utilize their drawer space. You can only see what is on top. Um, and it's already kind of like at maximum capacity. I think if we had even like one more shirt in here, it would be annoying to close the drawer because you'd be like shoving things down to get it to open and close. So we're going to take all of this stuff out. We're going to demonstrate how file folding not only stops the problem of like, I'm going to wear this t-shirt over and over again because it's the only thing I can see. Allows you to see everything that's in the drawer and also is going to give us like 30% more space in here so that if he decides he wants to hoard even more t-shirts, that is an option that is available to him. Not really, because I will not allow it, but in theory, he could have even more space for these ridiculously hideous running t-shirts. Okay, so everything is folded and we're going to see how they all stand up in this drawer. Sometimes when you don't have enough things for everything to stand up nicely, you can either stack them in this way or you can get um, bamboo drawer dividers and put them in here so that things don't fall over. But because these are adult sized t-shirts and there's so many of them, I think they're gonna fit perfectly without needing to add anything else. If you wanna be super crazy, you can also color coordinate them, which makes it easier to know where to put things back. But there you go. We got all these t-shirts into this drawer, standing upright, Easy to see everything you have so you're not just pulling the same shirt out over and over again. Done. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put in all the beautifully folded shirts Maddie's way. Look how gorgeous these are. And I feel like it takes even a little bit less space, which is cool. Maybe let's start here and they stand up so nice on their own. Look at them like little envelopes. How sweet. There we go. Red next. And then green. So you can see they stand up really beautifully on their own already. They also take up a tiny bit less space. So we could get a third row in if we needed to. And we could also go this way as well. This is a perfect thing to do if you are very particular about aesthetics or if you really enjoy folding. <laughs> it's a fun activity for you. Uh, maybe not the most ideal if you're looking to do something that's in a hurry, but definitely if you're doing photos or you have something that's visibly on display, this is the way to go because it just looks so much more uniform and delightful.